Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm doing a final video on Lowski's 232. This is a Tata going in a Honda Ruckus. Uh, he added on some Tata gears. What I didn't realize just a second ago, I had hit record, but because I have rubber gloves on, it didn't take on the touch screen. So we have to fast track this a little bit. What I've done here is I've got the uh, tire shaft in here, your axle tire shaft, <laughs> uh, and the brake post. I don't quite, you'll have to ask him why he wanted those. Uh, I think it's getting disc brakes on the back. These are for uh, drum brakes, but he wanted it on there. So whatever, it's on there. Uh, I also press the gears on there. Hold on one second. Let me pull these off there. All right, right here. These are the Tata gears, 16 by 37. These, these are called your final drive gears. This little gear right here is the one you've got to press on to this. So anyways, this is what the Tata retail packaging looks like. So that's where we are. I've got the drive shaft put in there and or axle. Maybe that's a drive shaft. I don't know. Anyways, so we'll go ahead and put our gears back in there. It's really nothing to install a set of gears. It's a lot easier to do when it's out of the scooter. Slide those on. Then I've got the clutch shaft already pressed in there. It's got a nice Viton seal right there. This is what your clutch goes on. Your variator would go right there. Your variator turns your clutch and that turns your gears. Changing this ratio uh, changes how much top end you have, how much low end torque you have, things of that nature. Uh, also, if you change tire sizes, you may want to uh, change out gears. But before we can put, oh, and you also have to put in your crank, uh, your, your dowel pins or case alignment pins and your uh, vent right here. So let me go ahead and put the gasket on there. All right. So we got the gasket on there. And just double check everything, make sure nothing's binding, turning it as it should be. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this little uh, pin right here, goes down in that last open bearing, obviously. So go ahead and put this on there. I like, the camera's right in my way. I'll be back in one second. All right, so that went on there nicely. Now, you may be wondering how I uh, know what bolt sizes. I have people ask me all the time, hey, do you got a chart? No, I do not have a chart. I keep one of these in the shop. It's got all the, uh, one for, oh, it's got grease on the inside of the bearings. So that's great. But anyways, uh, it's got all the bolts in there. So, these ones that are open, that's for your CVT cover. And uh, I, with the CVT cover, I have all the bolts in. I've got one for the crankcase and timing cover. And well, not for the top, I know it goes on up there. But anyways, uh, that's how I know. I do not have a chart over here. One second. Right here, I have got a bolt assortment. All these are M6 or M8, whatever size required. I've got all the bolts, nuts and bolts, and I just pull one out, measure it, and stick it in. So let me be right back as soon as I get that in. Now that I went ahead and found my bolts, I gotta tighten them all down. Just go around like this. That thing, your breather vent, 
it will compress uh, compress down when you uh, crank this on down. Uh, one thing to note for low ski, I am out of thread locker of Loctite. So you may want to pull these one by one, put thread locker on there, and uh, put them back in there, torque them all back down. So just keep going around like that. Each time you go around, you'll feel the one next to it get looser and looser. Just keep going around. Slide the motor over so I don't fall off the table. Ah, oh, I was probably right there. That's why I never tighten this stuff down on camera or anything. I'll be right back as soon as I finish tightening this down. All right, so I got everything tightened down and I actually realized I forgot one. So I had to put one in there. So anyways, remember them three are open for the CVT cover and then bam, 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 all of them are in. Double check everything, make sure nothing's binding. Turn this one, you can see that one turning. See? So what does that mean? That means total awesomeness because now the trans is done. And it's even got disc or uh, drum brake levers for disc brakes. Anyways, uh, if you want to talk to the purchaser of this, he's a member at my forum, www.dansgaragetalk.com. www.dansgaragetalk.com. I always, when I say that, I feel like I'm going to add in like too many W's, like www. Anyways, uh, she's all done. That's it. Now I'm going to go put this on my scooter and go drive and play. Hmm, no, Lowski probably won't like that. Anyways, I got distracted. If you want to uh, ask any questions about performance, it's Lowski, L-O-S-K-I 23. I think, yeah, 23. Yeah, because I was joking with him saying he's going to have to change his handle to Lowski 232. Anyways, oh, one thing to note. This uh, drive shaft is specifically for the Honda Ruckus with the fatty tire. That's the short axle. So he made a special request for that. Everything's converted. All he needs to do is, I think he's got an NCY clutch that I saw. He posted pictures of his current build. It's a really nice Ruckus. So anyways, if you want to talk about uh, anything, hit Lowski up at my forum, dancegaragetalk.com. If you want to buy any Tata items, uh, hit my store up at shop.martinmopeds.com, shop.martinmopeds.com. Uh, okay, so that's going to finish us off. Thanks for watching, guys and gals. Uh, I think I've already done trans videos, so if you haven't, uh, or if you haven't already watched videos, you can see how the gears get pressed on. Go go into my uh, past videos and you can see all that. Uh oh, I did see one thing I forgot. That is not a CVT cover hole. That is the hole for where he's gonna fill his. <laughs> yes, I am totally getting ahead of myself on this one. That is where you fill your transmission fluid. So I have to put a bolt on that. And it should be noted, when you do it, you have to use a copper or aluminum crush ring. Put it on there. That prevents uh, your fluid from leaking out. Ah. Trying to stay out of the view of the camera here. And I'm at a sideways angle. So anyways, I'll go ahead and tighten that down. All right, tighten down. Now, this time, for real, no jokes, I'm actually done. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching my videos, guys and gals. Uh, he, the comments are always awesome. You guys are so cool. Totally appreciate all the kind words and support. Thanks for watching. D Martin 95 and I'm out.